Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up, customize, and manage hotkeys, otherwise known as keyboard shortcuts, for potentially efficient trading on the ATAS order flow trading software. So if you aren't already familiar with this feature, ATAS actually allows you to customize and manage quote unquote hotkeys or keyboard shortcuts for various customization options and trading options throughout the platform. So essentially what these do is they allow you to pretty much avoid your mouse and pretty much just click a button or key on your keyboard and that'll perform that function for you. So instead of scrolling your mouse all the way to the ask price, for example, and then clicking on buy or, you know, canceling your buttons or flattening out all your different orders with a couple different mouse buttons, you can actually do so with just one click of a key on your keyboard and it potentially makes for a really efficient trading. So if you aren't familiar with this feature, you can actually access this by going through the ATAS homepage here, clicking on settings. And once your little drop down menu is open here, we're going to go down to hotkey manager. Now, as you can see, there's three corresponding sections within the hotkey manager. There's going to be options for trading, for charting, and then for your smart dome. Now, for those of you that are just focused on hotkeys for trading, this section is going to be for you. So for example, and you'll see there's op there's many different options here. We have options for all buys at the ask, the bid, and the market. We have the inverse for sell ask, sell bid, sell market. You have three options for canceling your orders. These are cancel ask, cancel bids, cancel all. You can close your positions, reverse positions, and then you can also activate chart trading mode directly from a chart. And again, and remember, this will potentially avoid any movement or any functionality within the mouse. You don't even have to click your mouse. If you have a chart open in your dome, you could just start rapid fire, you know, pressing buttons on your keyboard and these will perform your trading actions completely for you. So to set this up, it's really easy. I'll just show you a quick example. So for this one, let's say we want to buy at the market. We'll click the little gray box here for buy at the market. You'll see this opens up press keys for fix it. This is how we're going to set up our keyboard functionality here. So you can pretty much use anything on your keyboard. Just keep in mind that if you do have, you know, one click trading, you know, turned on and you accidentally press one of these keys, it's automatically going to execute a trade for you if you have chart trading on or you have your dome up. So for this, we might want to use something a bit more secure, secure. You can use things as shift and control as like different modifiers. Or if you wanted to, you could just straight up press eight, for example, and that's going to be my keyboard shortcut. Like I said, maybe we want to do control. That way we always have to press control before it's actually executed. And then we can press eight. So our combination is going to be pressing control and eight at the same time. And that's going to execute a buy market order for us. So that's one example. Let's go down. We can do something similar for ask or, you know, let's do, yeah, we'll, we can do it for ask. So maybe for this one, we can press shift and then shift nine. Let's try that again. We'll do shift nine. It, it's not showing the nine there, but I did press shift nine. So just keep that in mind. Um, that will be our keyboard shortcut modifier for this one. Um, for whatever reason, my numpad didn't work here, but the regular nine on top of, you know, the QWERTY keyboard, um, the default numbers at the top of your keyboard, it looks like it works in, uh, it looks like it's functioned with that. I'm not sure why the number pad didn't work for this case, but as you can see, it did work for our eight here. So that's just one example of canceling all your ask orders. Now trading from the chart is going to be on the default or on your dome by default to normally activate this. As you can see, pressing it space will activate chart trading. So if you want, you can manually find a price on your chart and then trade that way. If you're not familiar with chart trading, please check out our other video. We've already covered that in that topic. You can use keyboard shortcuts there as well, but I would suggest taking a look at that. Now let's go over to charting. This is going to be all your different shortcuts here for the different charting interfaces. So things such as accessing your indicators, drawing tools, different trend line, manipulating all these things such as copying, pasting, deleting. These are very similar to the Windows functionality. So for example, 
copy is going to be the same function or the keyboard hotkey for your windows control or your windows copy so you just press control c and it's going to copy it pasting is control v so these are very similar again you can come through here and customize as needed finally with your smart smart dome this is just going to be pretty much just functionality on how to manipulate this and there's actually a couple different things where you can clear out specific um, trades and columns feel free to look through these as needed remember you just want to click on there this one is actually pretty important lock trading maybe we can try tab q that's a really easy um keyboard shortcut those two keys are right next to each other this is going to lock trading so you don't accidentally go ahead and place trades while you're not aware so once you have everything set up you can press ok this is going to save everything in there Keep in mind, if you want to reset to default, you can just click on the reset button. And it's going to reset everything in there. So that's something to keep in mind. Now that we have these hotkeys ready to go, we can come up here. A real quick example is just to show you visually. We can go into drawing tools. All your keyboard or your hotkeys are going to be listed on the right hand side here in this column. So, for example, if we wanted to press, let's say, F2 right now, you'll see I'll get off of this. I don't have a trend line. I press F2 on my keyboard, trend line's active, and it instantly starts drawing a trend line for me. Press F2 again, there's our trend line. Let's go back so we can see what exactly the other keyboard shortcuts are. As I mentioned before, the Shift C or the Control C is gonna be a good method for copying. So let's say I highlight that, press Control C, click somewhere else on my keyboard, press Control V, You'll notice it just instantly made a paste. So I didn't really just say that, but a control V is going to be paste similar to Windows control C control V. That shows you that. Let's do a select all. We'll press control A. C, as you'll notice, I get these little boxes around my different indicators and drawing tools. That's just going to show I have them all selected. I press delete on my keyboard. They all delete. If you want to avoid, you know, selecting all of them, you could just click control delete and that'll delete everything for you. So you definitely have quite a few different functionalities and customization options here. You can mix and match. Keep in mind, these are all customization options here. Like I showed you, there's an entire trading section and it's really expansive and can really be used in can potentially be used for a powerful and efficient trading it at the end of the day it comes down to the user and what you feel is necessary customization wise but just showing you the options out there if you did have any questions on hotkeys please ask them down in the question comment section down below you can also head over to our community forum it's going to be linked down in the description below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more a task content and as always thanks for watching